in this session we'll see the example for uh, for all how to use a for all introduction and elimination in a natural direction formula for a predicate logic so this is a formula that we have discussed in the previous video okay so for all x insertion and for all x elimination this is how it is going to be done now i have taken a normal formula remember like see it is p of x implies q of x and p of x is given so using implies elimination we can write it as q of x when it is a normal formula you can take these two premises and write the conclusion directly but when it is binded with for all x first we have to break this for all x and then only we can move on okay so first i'll show you how it is so first step write down all the premises p of x implies q of x okay so this is your first premise and the second uh, premise is for all x p of x okay so what you are going to, going to do using your natural deduction you are going to conclude find the conclusion we are, we are going to derive this as a conclusion out of it okay so here we are going to start with the assumption as x not we want to insert an and or for all in your solution see for all x we need to insert it in the in the solution so how does this insertion actually works it starts with the term x not So I just start with the term x not, and all the substitution I'm just going to make this x not as a term I'm going to substitute. Okay, now I need to break this for all x to break to take this p of x implies q of x. Okay, and how does we eliminate this term here? See, for all x elimination, if universally for this formula works for all x, then you can substitute a term instead of this x in the formula. So I'm going to substitute the term x not in the formula. So I can rewrite it as p of x not implies q of x not. Universally for all x, if your formula is working, then surely for x not term your formula will work. So that is the logic. Now what it is your for all x elimination of statement one. You have written this, and similarly I'm going to break the statement two also. I'm going to eliminate this for all x. I'm just going to write it as p of x not over here. Why? For all x elimination of statement two, okay. So now what happened? So this is your assumption part. Now this is your normal proportional logic statement. You have p of x not implies q of x not, and p of x not is given. So what is the formula? Using your implies elimination, I can of four comma five, I can write it as q of x not. Now see, literally I have started with a term, and from the term I have derived to a formula. Using that term, so I can rewrite the statement as starting from x not derived to a formula with x not. Starting from x not derived to a proportional logic statement of x not, I can write this as for all x of pi. So that is for all x of your formula pi is q of x. Okay, so this is actually your for all x insertion. From statement three to six, start with the term x not. I derive to this formula. So with that, we can write this as for all x q of x. Okay. So this is how your for all statement universal quantifier for all has to be inserted and eliminated. So we cannot directly break the statement as p implies q directly. Okay. So first you have to break all the boundings, all the universal quantifiers. Then only we can proceed on it like a normal. or uh, natural deduction no, no normal natural deductions for a proportional logic statement so this is your normal proportional logic statements we have used an implies elimination over here okay in order to achieve this we have to break this for all over there thank you